So, I spent a lot of time this summer talking about ReZero as Season 2 aired and why I liked it so much. But you know, I've had a change of heart after spending 10 minutes reading reviews on Mal saying it was bad. So let me explain to you why it is bad so you will then view me as a smart intellectual person and give me lots of likes and subs and donate to my Patreon that doesn't exist because you value my intellectualness. So yeah, let's get started. By the way, spoilers for season two. So the first thing and most obvious thing is like how overpowered Subaru is. I mean, he has returned by death. There are no consequences to anything he does because bam, he just died. Everything is perfect, back to normal and good. He is possibly the most overpowered anime character, well, ever. Like think about Saitama. Saitama can beat any foe in one punch, but could he beat Subaru? I mean, it seems like, yes, he could punch Subaru, Subaru dies. But when Subaru dies, he doesn't die. He just comes back. He can try again, figure out a different strategy, die again, figure out a strategy, die again, etc. Eventually, though, Subaru will have to figure out a way to beat Saitama. He will learn that Saitama's one true weakness is the Mosquito. He will find a way to leverage that, and he will win. So yes, Subaru is even more overpowered than Saitama. And the most ridiculous thing about ReZero, though, is Subaru's harem. Like, he has Amelia, Rem, Krush, Felix, all seven witches, plus uh, Petra and Ram, kind of, sort of, plus Otto and uh, Patrish. I almost forgot Patrish's name. Like, what character does that? He has a bigger harem than Shiro and Fate. And she- even bigger than Shiro and Fate Khalid. And that's saying something. That's crazy. Like, there is no amount of realism here. And it's not like he did anything to earn it. Like, he just, like, saved their lives a few times, said some cool words. But who falls in love with someone just because they saved your life? That's kind of pathetic, don't you think? And it's not even this, though. It's the fact that his harem is filled with a number of lollies. Like, what kind of perverted person would write this or enjoy it? Like, there's Petra, like a 12-year-old. And then Ram and Rem look pretty young. Like, they're made for that sort of audience. And then I forgot the other character I mentioned. Oh, yes, Beatrice. Yes, I know she's like a 400-year-old spirit. But Super even calls her a lolly. That is, like, her name. So, yeah, there's something wrong with fans of ReZero. And then, and then... We're not done here. No, not by a long shot. You could say that ReZero is meant to be an escape because you're that type of person. But it's not even good about being that. You want to see a character come from a tragic past to overcome their flaws because that too can inspire you. Except Subaru doesn't have a tragic past. He has a normal past. And I can't feel good about him overcoming it because it's like, my past, sort of, kind of. And it makes me think, like, what kind of failure am I? I watch anime for fun, to be entertained, not to feel depressed. And speaking of depression, you have all these deaths which are, like, super violent. But what's the point of being violent? It's like the anime is trying to pretend to be mature, but covering up all of its flaws by having these super gruesome and terrible deaths by the great rabbit. And that is, like, going to be so horrifying. And then you will forget about all the actual intellectual things that it's trying to do, but feeling horribly, because it's ReZero. And it's just like a cliché fantasy. Like, you have all the anime clichés. You have a white-haired girl. You have a red-haired girl. You have a pink-haired girl. You have all the other color-coded characters. Like, what is this? Power Rangers? And it's not just that. It's like, some people say it has a good opening ending, and okay, those are kind of bops. But the show never plays it. The show never takes advantage of the fact that it actually has good music because it, like, never uh, plays the music. And then... There is something else, too. Something else. Remember the battle against the whale and how Subaru led them into battle with his phone? Why did his phone's battery last so long? Did the author ever think about that? Did you ever think about that? See further proof that this show is filled with bad writing. And then, fix the cliches. It's obvious that Amelia is going to win, so it'll be the first girl win story. Like, all those other cliche ones. Like, why can't, like, the fourth girl win? That would be interesting. But no, it's not. Plus, it's not like Super even truly picks Amelia. He also picks Rem. He isn't content with one girl. He just wants all of them. He's like Makoto from School Days. And we all know what happened to Makoto from School Days. Right. 
Well, I guess that kind of fits. So, yes. ReZero is bad. And you should feel bad for liking it. So please, like this video, comment down below how I am right and smart and everything, and I will see you all next time. Also, yes, this video is meant to be sarcastic.